All right, so with Betaflight 4.3 and the new SDFT sliding discrete 4A transform for the dynamic notch, it makes me beg the question, to RPM or to not RPM? That is the question. So today we're gonna to take a look at two flights, one with RPM filter turned on, and of course the dynamic notch, the SDFT on as well and one with just the SDFT alone, no RPM filters. And uh, yeah, let's see what we get. Engines are. All right, let's take a little look-see around the, the hood here. I'm gonna try going around the center here, a little bit, uh, a little bit staticky. So let's get some full throttle stuff in here before we... I made some adjustments to the kids. I'm running pretty high. And I uh, might be a little high on those. So, anyways, uh, I was hoping to increase the prop wash performance here. It's a little better. bit of shimmy there at the end. I have a little, uh, little high gains. All right, well, down to 3.5 already, so let's bring her in and turn off and grab some log and see what we see. Engines disarmed. All right, so then what we're gonna do is connect again Going into the motors tab, what I'll do is turn off bi directional D shot. Hit OK. All right, so after you've taken care of a call, then you go into settings, and I just want to verify. Yeah, so you can see the RPM filter, you know, I used to say underneath. Uh, gyro notch filters and in between there and dynamic notch filter you used to have uh, the rpm filter so that's turned off and then it automatically set now the cue to 300 as a default and i put three notches enabled so yeah let's check that out and see what see what it looks like um, so there's four motors and there's three notches so it's not going to be able to cover each one independently, but so be it. That's the default. Engines are. So I can, yeah, it still has a little bit of that oscillation when I'm dropping the throttle. I wonder what that's from.
feel like wash is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, throttle drops. I gotta look at that and see what's going on there. Hey, for a little fun, what was that shimmy and shake? What was causing that in my flight there? It was when I was chopping the throttle. So if you know what that is, drop it down in the comments below. Give you a little hint. It's the same quad I've been doing the videos with over the last couple of videos. So you can kind of look back and the patrons have a distinct advantage of knowing exactly what that was. It's like a little shimmy. And it's just the uh, kids are too high. The other thing I have is I set the uh, PDM frequency to uh, to um, 32 kilohertz PWM. I guess the battery's low. Bring that in. Engines disarmed. So what'd you think? Can you answer the age-old question, to who RPM or not to RPM? I think the big difference personally will also be, do you race or not? The RPM filter definitely kills motor noise and it just crushes out that motor band. So if you have ding props or whatnot, uh, they are going to vibrate, uh, you know, that ding usually throws them off balance. That's going to be at the RPM heart, uh, frequency of the motors because that's what, it just makes the motor shake more. So if you're really looking for protection, vibration protection that is motor centric, then it's definitely something that's uh, going to be a big factor. If you're doing freestyle and there's just all kinds of other vibrations going on in your frame or antenna and things like that, then the SDFT is going to cover it pretty well and maybe even a little bit better uh, than with the RPM filter on. So if you're interested in more of a breakdown and analysis of those two flights and what I'm seeing in Black Box, go ahead and check out the Patreon. I'm going to have a follow-up video uh, releasing at the same time as this one where we kind of break down the results on the desktop kind of look at what we see and give you some of my observations and thoughts on it. But for now, thanks everybody for your time. I hope this helps.